This is a $10,000 LEGO City and this is a $100 LEGO City. I'm going to show you how to create an amazing LEGO City using cheap and simple techniques and then compare it to a massive and expensive LEGO City that has almost everything. But this battle isn't just about the money, it's about creativity, space saving, that is building a LEGO City that fits almost anywhere. LEGO City. Hey! It's the dream of many LEGO fans, but there is one problem. Space. Well, with this LEGO $100 hey! City, I will show you how you can fit it basically anywhere. A shelf, an old table or even the bathroom if you are crazy enough. We're going to show you how to create an incredible LEGO City using affordable pieces and some clever techniques. Remember, you don't need a huge budget to build an amazing LEGO world. First, pieces. LEGO modulars use this super big base plate which is 32 by 32 studs. We can use however one quarter of that with this 16 by 16, leaving us with two buildings and two road plates on the same space. But how do we get LEGO? pieces well pick a brick wall because we can transform these simple pieces into an actual incredible piece of architecture the only known pick a brick wall pieces are these windows and the details and the best thing about pick a brick wall or the cardboard boxes whatever you have in your store is that it costs around 15 dollars however some countries don't have the privilege so you might have to use Brinklink, which can get more expensive now if you're looking to expand your lego collection without breaking the back, here's a pro tip. You can buy used LEGO sets and modify them to fit on your LEGO small city. Or, if you're feeling adventures, you can part them out on Bricklink, a LEGO reselling platform now owned by LEGO. And those pieces can create unique buildings and structures using the pick a brick wall. However, depending where you live, it can also get expensive. There are also some caveats to buying used LEGO, for the quality of the build might be different and some pieces might be used and disgusting. <coughs> However, we don't care about the minifigures or the side builds in this case, so it's fine. If there are a few missing pieces, it's no problem, considering we can use pick a brick wall. So, I already have this set, which I found on eBay for... So, let's transform our bricks into a $100 LEGO City. Check it out, we have a candy shop, a grocery store and even a stunning Victorian house. And guess what? We built all of this using mainly pick a brick pieces. It's all about creativity and thinking outside the box. Or in this case, the LEGO box set. Bruh. The grocery store even has an interior, the Victorian house has some special techniques, the windows are not under the budget unfortunately I had to use it for another set, and the interior is still a work in progress. Lego recently released the new road plates, however, they are a bit expensive, eating away half our budget. However, there are a few approaches that can help you maximize this space. First is the no sidewalk method. This comes from Japan. In some streets where traffic volumes are not that big, they have these painted sidewalks on the sides of the streets, helping you in some space. You can also close the streets off just for pedestrians. You can get the sidewalk method, which will eat a bit of your space, but it's not that much. Or you can use the Dutch method, which takes up more space using cycling lanes. Or you can even try the Brazilian method, where the sidewalk are either destroyed, ruined or mostly used for cars exit ways. No city is complete without cars, except car free cities, but you can add some 4 studs wide cars to help your budget, just like the 90s. If we had a bigger budget we could build a $1000 LEGO city with these Harry Potter sets and other sets that I doubled and more vehicles. Alright, now let's take a sneak peek at the $10,000 LEGO City. Make sure to smash that like button and hit that subscribe button as well. This is my LEGO City. If you wanted this today, well, you'd definitely need to fork out a lot of money. First, we have LEGO Ninjago City Gardens. This massive set is more expensive than the city we built. That is because it's super detailed, filled with easter eggs and minifigures. Then we have the LEGO Land Park. This is part more 
part sets. It includes this super cool Legoland art, some mini shops and even this awesome set, which is like an elevator drop, similar to Disney's Tower of Terror. It is a super expensive set that has some cool callbacks to LEGO Adventures. There's also this roller coaster which now is a hard to get set, somewhat. This Legoland by itself is more expensive than this city I just told you how to build, so you can imagine how more expensive the other things are going to get. Then we have the modulars. These are the most expensive things for sure. I have almost every modular and if you wanted every modular well you needed to fork out a lot of money however pro trip for cafe corner i do recommend parting out that set instead of buying a used one however there are some cons for that as well like the piece quality might not be that good the city is under renovation so keep that in mind we have retired sets like trains i do have a lot of trains in my lego city like the crocodile locomotive by itself it adds a lot of money to the list i also have mocks that required a lot of pieces and if you add in the shipping factor it becomes even more expensive sure a ten thousand dollar lego city school but how do the rich people live here well there is this lego modular apartment mock i built a few years ago it feels like a very rich place you would find it like in vancouver for instance there is this first floor that has almost nothing there is this child play zone and a laundry just like rich people's building then the second floor we have this family apartment which is definitely cramped there are a lot of easter eggs then we have a youtuber room on the next floor we have a recreation of my room somewhat and on the other side we have a very fancy place as we continue building a lego city the goal becomes clear to create a dynamic and immersive world this ten thousand dollar lego city has a town square with a train station we then have these large sidewalks bigger than the ones for the 100 dollar lego city we have custom tramways on the road plates i told you as well there are three trams in this lego city try saying that three times fast there is also going to be a cathedral here someday the lego city has a beach where all of those rich people can enjoy the sun and the water and the sharks i also am building a huge lego mountain that will someday have a palace on top also a work in progress look at this incredible progress every building every detail adds to the charm and uniqueness of our lego city it's amazing how much character and personality we can infuse into each structure creating a vibrant and bustling lego metropolis however building a lego city is not just about the money you spend it's about passion imagination and creativity you bring to the table get it whether you have a modest budget or endless resources, the joy of LEGO remains the same. So get out there, unleash your creativity and build your own LEGO masterpieces. How nice that was. Now, if you want to see that time I destroyed my LEGO city, well, click the video on the screen right now.